let us look at some median properties. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to um, take, for example, this triangle. So we're going to each point of a triangle is represented by calling it a vertex. So we're going to label them as A, B, and C. And what we can do is actually find angles for these. But now what we're going to do is we are going to draw a median for this triangle. And in order to draw a median for this triangle, we need to find the midpoint the midpoint of a side. And really, what is the midpoint? It is the side which we are going to cut in half. So I, I estimated that that's the halfway point. So of course, with a ruler, you'd measure um, really halfway. So if this whole thing from here to here was, let's say, 10 centimeters, the midpoint would be at the 5 centimeter mark. Right? So what you're doing is you're trying to find the midpoint of the side that is opposite from the vertex that you're picking. So if we're going to draw a median from here to here, and we're going to try to draw it to a straight line or as close to the line. So what we're going to do is we are going to create a what we call a median point. And with this point, let me uh, change the properties here uh, just to give it a different color. Okay, and there we have our median. Now, this median pretty much divides the area of the whole triangle in half. So what we're going to do is we're going to label this as point D. So let's get rid of um, this other stuff here. Okay, so now we have point A, B, and C are the main vertices of this triangle and we've calculated this median. So now if we have triangle A, B, C, and let's give it um, an area, right? So let's say the area is 50 centimeters squared. So this whole thing, right? So if I'm going to uh, color this in, the area of this whole thing is 50 centimeters squared. But now, what if I wanted to find the area of just within this half here, right? So the side in which the median separated the two parts of this triangle. To calculate the area of this new half this, uh, determined by the median, which was found with this midpoint, all we're going to do is take that value and divide it by 2. So in other words, triangle A, D, and C, not A, B, and C, but A, D, and C, right? This new half, let's say, is equal to 25 centimeters squared, which means that triangle from vertex B, C, and D, so triangle B, C and D is also going to equal to 25 centimeters squared. So really what this means is if I calculate, if I draw my median in a triangle which is drawn from a vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side, the area of these two sides of the triangle add up to the area of this entire triangle. Now, if we are to find the median of, um, let's say, from here to here, uh, so from this vertex here to this side, from this vertex to the opposite side, let's say it's about here, and then we find from this vertex to the midpoint of the other side, they are all going to meet at one collective spot and that collective spot is called the centroid so in other words when we have this median here and let me um, 
erase some of this here and let me redraw uh, the labels here a b and we said d what we have here is this side here is equal to this length and as we said remember what we said the whole thing if the whole thing was 10 centimeters each one was equal to five uh, the area of this part of the triangle is going to equal the area of this side of the triangle using this property here. So if we were to do this and calculate the median from every vertex, they will all meet at this one point called the centroid. So what this means now is, well, on this side, this side equals the length of this side. A core on this side here, this side is equal to this side. And notice here I drew one hash mark. Here I drew two. The reason is, is because these two are the same, but these two are the same to one another. So I'm going to draw an additional hash mark, let's say. And here I'm going to draw three hash marks to represent that these two sides are exactly the same length. But regardless of where I divide this, wherever I calculate this median, they will all equal to the same um, area.